China's top diplomat, Wang Yi, is on the first stop of his European tour. He's in France, and that's where he'll meet President Emmanuel Macron. And they're expected to discuss Mr. Macron's planned visit to China later this year. The eight-day trip is Mr. Wang's first overseas tour since taking on the role as China's top foreign policy advisor. He's been invited to Italy, Hungary, as well as Russia. The visits will test his ability to balance Beijing's close ties with Moscow while trying to boost China's image in Europe. Mr. Wang will be attending a security conference in Munich later in the week. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken may be present as well. Now, this would provide an opportunity for the men to meet in person for the first time since a row broke out between their nations over surveillance balloons. Now, for the latest, Sarah Coates joins us live. She's in Paris. Sarah, what's expected to come out of today's meeting between uh, Mr. Wang Yi and the French president? Yes, hello there, Dawn. Well, certainly all eyes on this high-level meeting happening right now in Paris at the Elysee Palace. Uh, a lot of things up for discussion, front and foremost. Firstly, will be, of course, Russia's war on Ukraine. Just given the ties between China and Europe have been, uh, you know, somewhat strained uh, given China's refusal to outright condemn Russia's invasion of its neighbour uh, and also really to support measures against Russia uh, at the United Nations. Uh, there certainly will be a lot of talk focusing surrounding that. Uh, of course, other things up for discussion will be climate change and biodiversity as well, Dawn. Uh, China's foreign ministry, it put out a statement recently saying that Wang's itinerary would bring an opportunity for China to work for new progress in bilateral relations with France as well as promote China's EU strategic trust. Now, we can tell you that uh, on top of this uh, meeting that is happening right now here in Paris, there will be a joint dinner uh, with Colonna, the foreign minister, happening a little later, which will give Wang Yi a chance uh, to meet his counterpart there as well. So, of course, uh, we are waiting to hear what comes out of this meeting that is happening right now, uh, not so far from here. Sarah, Mr Wang is there as part of this wider European tour. I mean, it is his first trip since the balloon spying row blew up. What kind of reception is he likely to receive? Yeah, you're certainly right. Well, you know, there is a lot of criticism at the moment uh, surrounding China uh, over this so-called balloon gate there, Dawn. We do know he will be also visiting Italy and Hungary before he makes an appearance at the Munich Security Conference, where there will be uh, certainly a number of, uh, you know, world leaders there in attendance, including US uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. She's said to be at the Munich Security Conference. We are still waiting uh, to hear whether US Secretary of State Antony Blinken will be on hand. But as you mentioned a little earlier, this could certainly provide a platform uh, for Blinken to discuss uh, with Mr. Wang this balloon gate scandal, uh, which has really blown US-China relations further off course. Of course, they're, uh, the US accusing China of spying, China retaliating, saying since 2022 that 10 of these so-called balloons are uh, apparently allegedly owned by the United States have flown over Chinese airspace. So this would really give them uh, a platform for dialogue, a platform to clear the air, so to say. But, you know, really, uh, Dawn, the focus of this trip there by Wang Yi uh, is to really test to see how China can potentially increase trust through diplomacy. And we certainly will be following this very, very closely. All right, Sarah, thank you very much for that. Sarah Coates there reporting live from Paris. And more on Wang Yi's trip. CNN's Olivia Xiong joins us live from Beijing. Olivia, uh, well, Wang Yi is in France now, but he will also be going to Russia. So what will his visit mean for China's relations with Europe? Well, it's really a whirlwind diplomatic trip for China's top foreign uh, policy advisor, Wang Yi. And Mr. Wang's first stop, as we heard, there is France. And uh, he'll be meeting the French president, uh, Emmanuel Macron, which could pave the way for Mr. Macron to visit China. But uh, Mr. Wang also visiting Italy, Hungary, as well as Germany, where he will be speaking at the Munich Security Conference. The Chinese foreign ministries 
said that uh, Mr. Wang will be using this platform to outline China's position on what it says are pressing international issues. And China, you know, with the EU has talked about boosting uh, trade ties and uh, trade with the eco- on and on the economic front. But we have also seen tensions between both sides in the last few years uh, as the EU continues to view Beijing increasingly, as it says, as a systemic rival also over the Ukraine war. And this trip uh, coming at a sensitive time, and Mr. Wang will be visiting Russia just as we are approaching that one-year mark since Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And uh, we'll be looking to see how Mr. Wang continues to position China as the country uh, walks this tightrope of refusing to condemn Moscow's invasion of Ukraine while tr- trying to balance its ties with the EU and the United States as well. Re- Foreign Ministry has also previously been asked if Mr. Wang would be meeting uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin, but Beijing so far has not confirmed that just yet. Although this could potentially pave the way for Chinese President Xi Jinping to make a visit to Moscow uh, later this year, as the Russian side has announced, although China not confirming this just yet. Of course, uh, Olivia, we heard earlier our correspondent in Paris saying this comes amidst balloon gate between the U.S. and China. And earlier today, China vowing to take countermeasures against American entities that it says undermine Chinese sovereignty. Could rhetoric like this affect the possibility of a meeting between Wang Yi and the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, should Mr. Blinken actually make that trip to the Munich Security Conference, which at this point is not confirmed? Yeah, it does seem quite unclear whether or not this uh, meeting potentially could even happen because the conditions uh, seem to continue to be tense over this balloon incident. Now with China accusing the U.S. of illegally flying its balloons of over 10 times, it says, since May, since May last year. And this time, it's also saying that it's flying, it had flown these balloons over Xinjiang and Tibet, which are uh, territories which are sensitive to China and it faces tensions uh, with the U.S. over both sides in this ongoing balloon saga sticking to their positions. China insisting that this balloon was an unmanned airship. It says it was meant solely for civilian purposes and accusing the U.S. of overreacting by shooting down what the U.S. alleges to have been a spy balloon from the Chinese flying over its airspace, even though uh, the U.S. side says it's sure that this balloon was used for surveillance purposes. So will Mr. Wang meet potentially U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken? That remains to be seen, even though reports suggest that it is being considered both sides choosing not to confirm this. So uh, it's really up in the air, so to speak, for now. All right. Thanks. The Olivia Xiong reporting live does there from Beijing.